And, I, and I'm afraid that he's doing more damage to, to the community than he is good. That's just my opinion. Well, you know, on this platform, we do fuck with Charleston White. Um, he said he says that he just sits around and um, wait for people to come at him, and then he'll go at them. <laughs> Who the fuck is he? Says again, again, again. He's put himself in a celebrity thing to where that he's he's making himself that he's relevant now because that's what he does. But his relevancy is only because he's disrespecting everybody. Right. Take away the disrespect. Does anybody know who he is? What has he accomplished? And I'll come. What has Charleston White accomplished? Well, um, somebody tell me what has he accomplished? He, he, in, in, he's in turned the over. Uh, he's turned over laws. He's they, what? Turned over laws. I don't no, 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 no. We don't know what law this man has turned over. I need you to give me some proof. Just like niggas can show paperwork or snitches, I need to see some proof of what law Charleston White turned. Please. So while you find that out, let's figure out something else he done in hip hop. Charleston White ain't done shit. See, I hate when people do that. They ask you a question knowing damn well they're not trying to hear what you got to say. How you gonna ask that man a question and then immediately switch topics and move the goalposts? That shit be so whack. He ain't had no hit record. He ain't put on no hit TV show. He ain't done nothing. All Charleston White does is come on the internet and talk shit about people who, who, act, who actually have accomplishments in this game. So I, I, again, can somebody, if somebody could tell me what he did, then I I'm all for it. Now we all know that Charleston White ain't no rapper. He's not a singer. He's not a producer, DJ, none of that. He's an entertainer. He's a comedian. And you know, it's not like he goes around critiquing music in a sense where he's trying to improve artists and improve music. You know, that's not his field. But just because he doesn't do that doesn't mean that he shouldn't be able to comment on other people. You know, that's like saying comedians shouldn't be able to speak about things outside their field. Like they shouldn't comment on athletes or rappers if they don't do that. Like, nah, that doesn't make sense. Like if you do something stupid, it gets pointed out and we make a joke out of it. And that's the end of it. Now, one could argue, what has a drill rapper done for anybody? No, 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 no. I'm not saying a drill rapper. Because it's not just, <laughs> because drill, it's not just drill rappers that Charleston White goes off. Charleston White goes after everybody he just don't like. You know, he goes after rappers. He just knows he, no, he like... don't. He go after niggas' mamas. He go after, yeah. like, ch women. Everybody, bro. <laughs> what do you, I, I don't, you know what I'm saying? Shit. Anybody can get it. You know what I'm saying? And what's the difference between him talking about somebody's mama and Benzino talking about Eminem's mom when y'all was rap beefing? Like... It's okay to do it if we're doing it in songs, but it's not okay if we're doing it in person. You know, one thing we learn in life is disrespect is disrespect. There's no such thing as equal disrespect to disrespect. It just is what it is. It's just one thing about life is some people in life will take it farther than the other person will. And just cause that person's willing to take it further and he doesn't have the quote unquote same morals as you, that doesn't make him any less of a person or a bad person. It's well, an, like, so, oh. so I guess it's a different character because you meet Charleston White in person. He's a totally different person. No, no, person. no. I'm sure me and Charlie will get along in person because he'll be a man and I'm going to be a man. Man, and we're, we was born around the same time. I'm not with the trolling dumb shit. I'm just not with that. I'm just, I, it, it just ain't me. It ain't, I think it, I think it hurts people, bro. I think it hurts. Like, why get on the internet and start beef with everybody? Why is that the that's the way to so get on? So let me ask y'all. I feel like it makes a crazy check too, like that. <laughs> <laughs> that, that but but that's but but all money ain't good money. No, you facts. You ain't saying I could that. I get on here and say a bunch of shit and go get me a crazy check. Why would I want that type of check? Right. It's just people don't forget some of the horrible shit you say about dead people and people's mamas and you know what I'm saying when you you know what I mean. It, it, I don't know. That's just me, man. I, I you know. I just mean, man, like I, I try to show love and I try to show respect because I, you know, I, I want it. You know what I'm saying? Right. You know what I mean? I got kids. Why am I starting? Why would I put my kids in danger? Thanks. Why would I be on the internet? Why would I put my kids in danger? I mean, don't get me wrong. Shit happens and sometimes, but he makes a living off of this. And I just don't think, I don't, I mean, the shit that happened at the comedy show when they just, like, who wants to live like that? I got to agree with Benzino on that. Yeah, nah, when people pass away, it ain't cool to, you know, talk down on them and completely disrespect them. But I will say Charleston White, the difference between him and a lot of other people on the internet that just troll all day, is Charleston White's with the shits. I'm not saying that Charleston White is tough by any means as far as fighting and 
trying to you know square up with people and things like that but the difference is he definitely doesn't mind putting himself in harm's way whether he got pulled a pepper spray out get security involved all that police involved he will but he says a lot of things knowing that he's under constant threats and it's a hundred niggas out there that's definitely willing to attack him right now and one thing i got respect about charleston white is i do respect the fact that you know he doesn't hold his tongue and he'll call people out knowing that puts him in danger you know what i'm saying like he'll go to what texas or cali and talk about crips and bloods and you know what i'm saying then when he gets to their city we'll see a video pop up of somebody trying to get at him so in that aspect uh, i'll give him that but i just found this whole benzino thing interesting and wanted to get my two cents in on it and let me know yours and of course if you like the video make sure you like and subscribe